Rob McNelly asks, how do I get started with NIM? If you Google for the AIX Virtual User Group and then go search for NIM, you can get to Steve Knudsen's NIM Basics and NIM Advanced sessions. When you look over Steve's NIM Basics slides, you can see what he will cover if you listen to the user group replay. In our case, we are interested in creating the file systems and loading the file sets necessary to build our NIM server. I have a system I'm going to use to demonstrate with. We're going to build a new file system for our LPP source and we're going to set it up with inline logs and we're going to mount the file system. I am going to cheat and use Smitty, but obviously you could do the file system creation from the command line if you prefer. I'm going to give it generic AIX7 names here. If you were doing this on your system, you would want to be more specific and list what service pack you were using for your LPP source. It also helps if you can spell, and it helps if you remember the name you just made up on the previous screen. After we mount the file system, we will run the df command to show our newly created file system. If you refer back to Steve's slides, the next step is to make sure you have the four file sets installed. I have noticed on later versions of AIX, boss.net.tcp.server comes up with this error, so I just make sure to get the other three file sets installed. Once they are installed, I follow Steve's instruction and I reboot my system. I have cut out a little bit of the sequence of picking and installing my file sets for the purposes of this video. Once the system reboots, we will log back in and continue building our NIM server. Now that the system is back up through the magic of editing, I am going to log in and I'm going to run Smitty NIM. I will pick Configure the NIM Environment and then Advanced Configuration. I will initialize the NIM master only and I will enter my network name and my network install interface. Once this has been done, I will begin copying my file sets from my CD. I do this by running Smitty BFF Create. In this case, I am using a virtual optical disk, but you could use physical media if you wanted to. I am telling the system to copy all of the file sets to the file system that I set up previously. As this will take a while, I will edit out the actual file copy process. And we are back. I am now going to run Smitty NIM, configure the NIM environment, advanced configuration, create basic installation resources, create a new LPP source only. I will give this new LPP source resource a name, and I will tell it where the LPP source directory is. I do want to show progress, but I do not want to create a new file system, since that was what we did at the beginning. Now we want to create our shared product object tree, or SPOT. This is what the NIM server uses when a client first boots off of the NIM server. I will select the LPP source resource that we just created as my input device. I will give the SPOT a name, and I will tell it what directory to use. This will take a while to run, so again I will edit it out. Once this process has completed, I will have my LPP source and my SPOT created, and I will be able to use my NIM server to load a client LPAR. Look for my next video where I install AIX from my NIM server. This video should have shown you just how easy it is to build a NIM server, but I would encourage you to listen to the AIX Virtual User Group replay for more in-depth coverage and to look at Steve's slides for step-by-step -step instructions.